Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Very much appreciated for your support, especially all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Um, today we've got a, like a Scottish lock scene. Um, I sort of had a couple of attempts at it. I sort of I weren't quite happy with the, the, the first washes and layouts. I've, I've took me, me spray. I've got, I'll give it a quick spray and sort of had another go at it, try and create a bit more drama and, and uh, impact. Um, so before I show you how to do this one, let me show you the colours I've used. So, always, always have the colours in the same order. We've got Ultramarine, Lemon Yellow, Payne's Grey, these are in Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. Um, most of it done with a big eight brush. And then I've got a little flat brush there and a couple of, a couple of riggers. I've got, currently got four books on Amazon. If you'd like to follow it in a sort of photographic format rather than the videos, um, just grab one at random. Um, each painting, take this one for example, um, this is Cuckoo's, not, not far from where I live. And then what I've done is just, there's the reference photo I used. And I just broke it down into a series of step-by-step -step photographs. So you can just see the painting build up. So, it's just an alternative to the videos. If you, if you just want to work at a, a sort of slower pace and just work it out just little bit by bit same format all the books just broke them all down into lots of photographs just to guide you through each one so they're all on amazon you'll see the link below let's kick it off with some clean water and then into that i'm going to go a bit of raw sienna and a little in crimson and then down the bottom part just use a bit of Lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine in there as well. So that's just a basic background flavour. Now then I'm going to go back up into the sky, alizarin, ultramarine. Let's try this sort of sky. This are in ultramarine, now the, the, the mountains. If I just take a bit of everything that I've been using, and this is sort of something like that. And then they go up there. It's just a few little clouds and things there. use the car just to shape some of these mountains. And then what I might do is just just use a damp brush then just to catch the bottom of some of these just to lighten so it just gives it a sort of misty effect at the bottom. Watching some of that. Watching some of that water. I just could add a quick dry. I don't want to dry it too much. Now what I'm going to do is come over to some the land section now on the near side of the lock. So I'm going raw sienna. Burnt umber. This is cutting straight across there. A bit of ultramarine in there to darken it. See what I should have done. What I haven't done yet. Just, just give like a hint of suggestion of the water. A bit of a lizard, a bit of ultramarine. And we've just got some of that. Just start something like that. Well then, let's clean the brush again. So at least it looks now like there's water over there. So the first distant layer we're giving something like that. Now I'm going for a stronger one. Give a bit of brown, a bit of blue. 
throw a bit of red into it as well and this time we're going this way let's get back to a lighter colour I think back into a bit of raw sienna I'm going to try and get a bit of variation there in this land, Keep, make it look a bit interesting. So. I want, I want, they should be distinct layers. What I might do is just lighten that back layer. If I just go over that and just lighten that a little bit. Something like that, and then I'll strengthen that one when it's dry a bit more. But for now, what I see, what I do want, we do have a there's like a a path. So I'm doing a bit of red, a bit of blue. Now the path, there's going to be some trees over there, so it's sort of it's it's, it's something like that. Path going over there. lighten that a little bit I want to go back to a lighter green so let's just go back into that yellow push that up to the path Bit of grass on this other side as well. The raw sienna, a bit of blue. Let's just pull this tight. Now I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm just not getting any sort of wow factor. So what I'm going to do is wet it. And let's go back into that sky and try and create a bit more drama because it just looks plain boring. Let's go. Lizarine. Blue. Right in. Just liven it up a bit. Back into this this time just just don't mess about it, just get it in. Then the, the foothills. We do that. Let's just redo that water area. There's the water. Pop that back in. Moving 
So like a line of be a you know, quick dry. On a really dark green there, so I'm taking using a bit of Lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. I'm just flicking in a few trees there, just flicking the brush up. See so how you just get these little peaks up here. Let's have a few more up here, I think. Some big ones up there. And we've got a proper distinction there between the layers. So let's clean the brush, let's come back into a bit of lemon yellow. So I'll just chop the base of those away, clean the brush again. Same up here as well, just cut the base away just so the trees look a little bit smaller, create a bit more scale. I just want to redefine where this path is. This time I might just go light. Let's just try light first. Switch to the little flat brush. Take off some of that paint. And here's our path. It's a little bit wide as it gets towards us. A bit of lemon yellow, a bit of ultramarine. Let's just push that up to the edge of the path. Just need to narrow it a bit here. as it goes off into the distance, just to get the, the perspective right. And that sort of comes around like that. Bit of red in there. Bit of brown. this tight so it's flat against the board and then I might just scrape a few rocks and things along the path the edge of the path just see what it looks like if I just 
grab my little card. smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance. I'll paint over any that have um, there's too many, well there, there is too many I'm just gonna that looks rubbish There's a load of rocks. Now if I just go over the ones where there's just too much. Quick dry. Darks. I mean, probably if I put in some thick posts. The one up there, something like that. I mean, you see, trying to do it so it's catching the light. If I just scrape the one side of it. Like the, the light just catching the edge of the post, like that. Um, on the other side, I'm just gonna have like a, just a narrow little. Just the one nothing, just to keep it so easy, so, so tempting to, 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 to do too much. I think I'll uh, cut dry. figure walking off into the distance. So I'm switching a tiny little brush. And then um something about something about there I think. Let's just do another one as well. Um, no, no, I'm just going to have the one, I think. Just the one.
just gives you like a sense of scale and thing. I, I think I'm going to just call that one done now, I think. I'm just going to sign that one. Oh, that tree's in an awkward place. Um, sign that one. I'm going to call that one done. Let's stick a mount on it now and see what it looks like. So there's our finished painting in its main. So if we go and have a closer look at it. So it took a couple of attempts to get something that I was sort of half decent. Um, so predominantly sort of a lizard in crimson and, and uh, ultramarine in the sky. And then you see I've took a few clouds out with the tissue and then put the mountains in using the same colors and then scraped them with the cards to try and create, the sort of, create that sort of texture textured mountain look down the foot holes of the mountains and down the bottom just putting the just a suggestion of the luck down there and then we've got this sort of dark tree line then sort of defining one layer from another so I just used a dark very dark green sort of predominantly sort of lemon yellow panes grey just didn't just use the corner of the brush just to flick up those trees and then once I'd done they were bigger than that and then I've just sort of used I think it's just a bit of le light lemon yellow just to sort of cut off the bo bottom of the tree just to make them smaller to make it look more distant try a bigger sense of scale um, the path itself was originally a different color and I thought well in the end I went for the sort of darks either side and gone for the light colored path just again use the clean damp brush just to take out a lot of that color it leaves a little bit of the color behind so it's not totally white there's a little bit of sort of color variation in there as well that's where our little man's leading off down into the into the valley beyond to the water um you see so scraped in loads of rocks and stones and things painted over a lot of them it's always so tempting to just keep going on and on and on painting these rocks you can see just use a look i used quite a thick Bit of paint then and just scrape the sides with a car just to make it look as if the light's catching the side of those fence posts and then on the other side just fancy like a little little mini tree so just use a dark mix and the rigger brush just to pop that deliberately pop that right over into the light clouds if you are just to get that maximize the contrast so that's it for this one i hope you enjoy that thanks as always for watching remember there's Join me over on Patreon if you want to see more, post your own paintings and, and uh, all that um, palaver. So all the books are on Amazon. Remember this as well as all the other paintings I do. You can see me in eBay shop. All the links are below in the description. So keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask and I'll see you again soon.